Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. This video is going to be picking off, piggybacking off of the video I uploaded yesterday about when when you when things when you uh, when things are down, when times are rough. So, you know, this thing called life is is really tough. It's really hard. Um, it's, you know, some people it, at times are really having rough times. And as somebody who is really doing my best to, to consistently make content, you know, sometimes I'm not in a good mood. Sometimes, sometimes things are really, really rough and, 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 and hard Sometimes things are great. Sometimes times are just going amazing. And, you know, when times are going great, you just coast. And you ride that wave and you, you know, you, 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 you begin to, if you're not careful, you can lose gratitude for, for, for the good times. And it's oftentimes when, when things are taken away that you, you realize what you had. You realize how good things were. But here's the thing. For me, you know, I always just try to be really where I'm at and just be there and just show that to the world and not not hide that because you know that this is this is all part of being a human. You know, we're we're just we're not going to have it's not going to be a smooth ride. There's going to be bumps in the road. There's going to be detours. There's going to be hazard signs. There's going to be um, peaks and valleys. And I'm, I'm in a little bit of a valley right now. I'll admit that. Um, but that's why I want to make this video and just be real about it, you know? I think that a lot of times people think that they, have, they can't show any weakness or they can't show any vulnerability or they can't show... Um, they have to show that, you know... Everything is great all the time. That they've got all the answers. They've got everything figured out. They have no, you know, um, no problems. They've got all the answers to all the problems, and and nobody does. Nobody does. So, for 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 a reference point. Everything was going great in, in in business for me, and then had um, Google totally re-platformed everything about how businesses are listed online, and I'm having to now realign and recalibrate how I do things. And the last couple of weeks have been kind of rough. Now, here's the thing. You know, I talk about jujitsu and martial arts and things like that. You know, in, in martial arts, you learn how to confront. You learn how to not back down from a violent encounter. And obviously, it takes years to get good. I'm not good. I'm a, I'm a fucking blue belt. Like I, I suck. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm I'm a, I'm a I'm great. I'm not. I have a lot to learn. You know, I've been doing this for like a year. Uh, before I done done other martial arts, but you know the, what I'm doing right now, like it, it takes time. And I I knew I was gonna suck the first year. Um. But but I understand the whole essence of of martial arts in general is that it's it's to prepare you for uh, a violent confrontation, right? And to equip you with the confidence and the skill set and the muscle reflexes and hopefully the awareness and hopefully the mindset not to get into a situation like that. But if sometimes the situations are avoid, unavoidable and you have to do something. But sometimes there's confrontations in life. You know, business, relationships, health, economy. All this shit affects us. You know, no one, no one's just living in a fully insulated bubble. 
And that, this is when you, when you find out how strong you are. This is when you find out if you really are a fighter or not. Because it's really easy to show off when things are going well. It's really easy to show off all your money and your cars and this and that when things are going well. But when you, when you get, when things aren't going well, how do you react? How do you respond? Do you, do you adapt? It's fucking hard. And life is hard. Um, and it, it just is the way that it is that nothing that, that nothing that's really worth anything comes easy. You know, um, there's this guy on, uh, this, you know, I am Jados or Yados, you know, and, and at first I kind of judged him because, you know, he's hanging around Wes Watson, but, um, I actually listened to him and, you know, I got to say, like, I, I really, really respect and admire a lot of the things that he says. Um, I know he's got all the cars and everything, but there's something different about that guy than, than Wes, you know, and all the, all the other people that I've seen on his, his bullshit. He seems to, um, I respect the way that guy carries himself. Um, and I, and I, and I think he does have a lot of wisdom, um, especially for such a young guy. But, you know, one thing that he said that I really, really resonated with me is that it's about, it's not about what you do. It's about who you, who you are and who you, who you're becoming. You know, and, and I think something about men, like we, we, we really admire people that, you know, that have overcome a lot of things, you know, like, think about this, man. Like I, 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 I know for me, and I'm, I think a lot of you guys would agree with me. If you see a guy that's really sick, you know, he, 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 he rolls up in a, in a really nice car. He's got, you know, a $3,000 suit on with a beautiful wife, whatever. And then you find out, like, let's just take Jared Kushner, for instance, you know, Jared Kushner came from money. Jerry Kushner's f father was a very wealthy real estate developer. I'm not saying that Jerry Kushner didn't work hard to get his MBA or his law degree or whatever he's got, or that he made good decisions. I'm not saying that. But the fact that he came from money has to at least diminish the, uh, the amount of respect you have for the guy somewhat because you know that he had a major helping and, and he had major help. He had a major head start in life than somebody who just came from the middle class or, or, or even someone who came from poverty. And the thing is, is that when, when you have to change and adapt to things, you have to change your mindset. You have to accept that you have that you've been doing things a certain way, and and that yeah they they've been working, but now they're not working because the mark because the whatever the the digital ecosystem is different, and you have to adapt to that and you have to adapt quickly to that um, because you know like my grandfather always told me he said you know intelligence is how quickly you can adapt, and you have to work harder. You have to work smarter. You have to be more creative. You have to you have to think of things that other people aren't doing, and then you have to do them. And you have to you have to be willing to just put your head down and just grind. And 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 not. And this is the thing, guys. You know, like like talk about like I talked about distractions in another video. This is why distractions are so bad because you know when. Like ADHD, you know, trouble paying attention, trouble focusing. Like this is on this is on the rise. There is a genetic basis to it. There absolutely is. A there, there, there absolutely is a genetic basis to it. But it's also on the rise. It's also being, I think, exacerbated by the social media and the culture and the, this instant gratification and the plethora of distractions. So it's very difficult to get focused. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get rid of everything that's distracting. You gotta rid of, gotta get rid of all the social media. 
I, I, I just had, now I had to get rid of Facebook now. You know, I had to do it. I got rid of Instagram. I got rid of the fucking dating apps. I mean, I was never on Snapchat or whatever the other one is. Uh, I don't even fucking remember what it is. Um, I don't even, I don't even know. It doesn't matter. Um, I can't keep track of them all. But now I'm not, now I've had to get rid of Facebook because that's, that's, that's a distraction. So, you know, the only one that's ever going to help that no one's coming to save you. You know, we learn that, we learn that in life. And a lot of times we learn that too, too late, but no one's coming to save you. And you have to, you are, we are responsible for our lives. So like, you know, waiting around, hoping that someone's going to fix my problem for me. It's not the case. I'm going to have to work harder. I'm going to, you know, we're going to have to do things that we don't want to do. But, um, the world's changed, you know, it's, it's, it's a changed world. Like it's a digital age now and I, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I am anti-technology to the core. I don't, I think it is destroying us, but it is here and it's not going anywhere and there, there's nothing that I can do about it. And I keep telling myself, you know, I, I, I have to survive. I have to make a good life for my dogs. I have to help my, my parents, you know, I have to help my family. I have to help my sister. I have to. And I got to be a good example for my friends. And I want to be, I've always wanted to be, you know, in a position to help the people that I care about, you know. I always wanted to do, to be in that position. And the only way I'm going to do it is if I, if I get really good at solving problems. And this is an opportunity. So this is the thing. It's like, it's all about how you, how you, it's all about how you view your problems, right? It's, 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 you can, you can view your problems as a burden or you can view your problems as, um, as an opportunity to grow and it's fucking hard. Because change, you know, look, we we as human beings, we love comfort. You know, we, we love to pick the the path of least resistance. This this is all this is all basic to our nature, you know. We're not all that complicated of beings, really. We're pretty simple when and we're pretty similar once you really peel off all the bullshit and all the ego and all the masks that people try to wear. We're all we're all very similar. And, and that's, 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 that's just the reality is that we, if we want to be successful, if we want to be happy, if we want to have prosperity, if we want to be fit, you know, all the things that we all claim that we want and we have to be willing to do what other people aren't willing to do. And, and got and, and, and for those of you guys who are small business owners, entrepreneurs, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like you have to be a problem solver if you're going to work for yourself. And if you're not a great problem solver, then you need to find good problem solvers and get good at delegating to them tasks that you don't want to do. I don't like marketing. I fucking hate it. It's not something that I'm interested in. I've never been interested in it. I'm, 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 I'm the type that likes to read and ponder reality. I'm a, I'm, I went to school for philosophy. I fucking hate marketing, you know, all that sales, all that shit, but it's like, I have to do it, you know? So I got good at sales. I, I took sales jobs. I got decent at it. Not saying I'm great. And then I, I, you know, farm out all the marketing to a marketing team, but now there's just other things that I'm going to have to do in order to grow my business. So this is the thing guys, like the reason why most people don't start a business is because they don't want to have to be the one to make tough decisions. They don't want to be the one to have to figure things out. Like they want to just be told, Hey, listen, this is what you got to do. Do this job. This is your job description. Do this and you'll be fine. And that's why that, that, that's why you have, you know, that, that's also why 
you know, business owners are really, unless you're, you know, a, a, a doctor or a, a lawyer, and there's a lot of lawyers that are broke too, you're not going to make any money. You're not going to make any real money unless you work for yourself and have, you have a business. So this is, this is what it's all about. And I, and I hope that look, you know, I am where I am. I'm not gonna, I don't make, I don't lie and like try to tell you guys I'm something that I'm not. I don't have all the answers. I don't have, I don't believe I have really any of the answers. I just share my experience. I just share my perspective. If, if, and I hope that some people get value out of what I say and, um, you know, just enjoy giving my, my thoughts and I also, but I also enjoy sharing my life and sharing where I, what I'm going through. And, and I, and I'm going to, I'll be honest, it does help me stay accountable to myself. It does help me stay accountable to myself because I don't want I don't want to, um, I don't want to not tell people where, how I'm really doing, you know, just because I want to maintain some sort of an image because that's what, that, that's what I, I see a lot of people doing that I, that I don't like. A lot of people talk about how, oh, I, I went through hard times, but then when they're, when they're out making content. They only show the good times and the, and the bad times are in the are in the rearview mirror. Look, people go through bad times that are even 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 when they get to be really successful, they just don't share it because they have this, you know. I, in my opinion, they have this image that they have to maintain, and they don't want to portray that, that 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 they have any problems. They want to kind of portray they have some ideal life, and the problems never start, never stop, and they never fucking stop. And that's something I've had to just like learn over life is that like, you know, you're never, you're never going to get to a point where you don't have problems. You're never, your problems just become different. You know, like when people complain that they're single, they don't have a girlfriend, then they get a girlfriend and then they start complaining. Oh, I gotta, I can't do this because I got to do this for my girlfriend. I can't do that because I got to do this for my girlfriend. You know, and it's just like, dude, this is, it's all about what you can handle. It's all about what you're willing to fucking take on. So that's what I got for you guys. All right. Um, I'm going to work. Grateful for it. I tell myself that every day. Whatever work I can get, I'm grateful for it. All right. I'm out.